In this video, we're going to take a look at a special type of percent problem dealing with percent increase or percent decrease. When we're dealing with percent increase and decrease, it is very easy to get the wrong numbers in the wrong place as we set up our proportion. The percent increase and decrease proportion is we take the new value over the old equals the percent over the hundred, or the is is the absolute value of the difference, the old minus the new, divided by the old value. That will equal our percent over 100. When we see these keywords, percent increase or percent decrease, we must think the proportion is the absolute value of the old minus the new over the old, equals the percent over a hundred. So for example, if I had a problem such as the price of a sofa was two ninety nine, during a weekend sale the price was dropped to one seventy nine, we want to know what is the percent decrease. And when I see this percent decrease, that's my key phrase that we're looking for the absolute value of the old minus the new over the old equals percent over a hundred. The old price we see is two ninety nine. Minus the new price, we see is 179. Over the old price, which is 299, equals the percent, that's what we're looking for, what's the percent decrease over 100. In order to make this into something nicer to solve as a proportion, we need to know what the absolute value of 299 minus 179 is. So if we do 299 minus 179, we get 120. And the absolute value of 120 is 120. So we have 120 over 299 equals x over 100. We then can solve this proportion, just like always, multiplying the diagonals. 12,000 equals 299x. And then dividing both sides by 299, On our calculator, we get 40.13 or 40.13 percent is the percent decrease from 299 down to 179. Let's try another example. In this problem, the population of town goes from 12,345 to 31,416. We want the percent increase. And again, there's that key phrase that tells us to do the absolute value of the difference over the old equals percent over 100. 12,000 is the old, 31,000 is the new. So we'll take the absolute value of the old minus the new, 12,345 minus 31,416 over the old value, which was 12, 3, 4, 5, equals my percent increase, which we're looking for, over 100. Again, to make this proportion one easier to just do a cross multiply, we're going to find out what the absolute value is when we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, subtract 3, 1, 4, 1, 6, we get negative 19,071. The absolute value makes it positive, 19,071 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals x over 100. And we now have a proportion we can solve. Multiply the diagonal, we get 1,907,100 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, x. Divide both sides by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we get x is equal to 154.48 percent. When we see that phrase, percent increase or percent decrease, we take the absolute value of the difference over the old equals percent over 100.